and I flew in uh, yesterday. And you know, there's one thing that I love about uh, flying Indian Airlines is the fact that you can understand what the pilot is saying. Yeah, any other airlines, even American Airlines, you can't understand. I'm from Dubai. Arabic Airlines, hell no. You have no idea what they're saying. As a matter of fact, sometimes when they make these announcements, some of them actually sound like they're having an orgasm. And I prove it to you. I prove it to you. Every airline I flew in, fly in, this is what the pilot sounds like. Uh, oh, uh, this is your captain speaking. So, so, so uh, we are going to be flying to 30,000 feet. Uh, so, we here today will be Sunita, Kavita, Papita, Lalita. And, uh, Shut up, man. And I've just started flying business class. Before that, I used to fly semi-business class. I'll explain to you what that means. I used to sit on the first seat of economy and half my leg used to be in business class shaking like that. I'm a Sindhi, so I think that <laughs> says a lot about <laughs> how things are. But these guys sound like they're having an orgasm, but then I thought about it, that maybe that's why they call it the cockpit. I've been traveling all over the world. It's so much fun doing this for a living. But you know, every time I travel to London, any, anybody from the UK here? Right here, hello. I love the accent, it's so, you can say anything. Hello, my name's Nitin. Nice to meet you. What's your name, eh? Is it that bad? <laughs> Somebody put him on pause. <laughs> Play. But you know, every time I travel, I have people from England always telling me, come up to me, it's like, Hello, Nitin. You're right, mate. Listen, right. I have a question for you. Why? Why is it? Why? Do all you Indian people, all of you, not some, just all of you, speak so bloody fast all the time? Why? I'll tell you why, sir. Do you know it's almost two dollars a minute to call outside India? <laughs> it's expensive. And I love being Indian because Indians, we make everything work for us. For example, sir, in India, if a car stops on the road, it becomes a roundabout. We don't move the cow. We give directions using the cow. We call Rajesh from the cow, you take a left. <laughs> There's a horse, I'm standing right behind the horse. Come, come. That's how we do it. That's how it works for us. Like I mentioned, this is what I do full time. I don't have a regular job. But I think they ask you stupid questions at job interviews. Anybody from HR here? Anybody dealt with HR? Not Achar, as in I'm sure the creative people like Achar. Mango pickle, yes, let's make it. So they ask you stupid questions at job interviews. The last job interview I went for, they ask you this one question every time, yeah? Uh, so, Mr. Mirani, where do you see yourself in this organization in the next two years? I said, in your seat, bro. <laughs> he didn't find it funny. He says, so, so Mr. Mirani, tell, tell us, how, how do you handle a stressful situation? I just bloody got up and left. How else? <laughs> and I don't know why they have to ask you personal questions. Like, bro, I don't know you, you don't know me, we just met. Why do they have to get personal? I mean, what the hell is? Last position held and for how long? <laughs> well, that's between me and my girlfriend. Why should I tell you? Anyway, I wrote doggy style 10 minutes. <laughs> I got the job. I was personal relationship manager for two years. Chinese people. These guys can go from really happy to really confused in 1.2 seconds. I love these guys. True story, I was in Hong Kong, I saw these two Chinese people talking to each other and all I heard was this and one of them got confused while they were talking to each other. So Chinese guys talking, Ha! Sound la! 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 One of them got confused. So, Sound la! Sound la! Song Pa, pa. Crazy. And it's impossible to 
get a deal from these guys. You walk. How many meals do they eat? You they eat seventy eight meals a day. You walk into the store, they're always eating. You walk into China, Hong Kong, or any Chinese store. Excuse me, how much is? Uh, so excuse me, this teacher. You get angry like, excuse me, how much? Is and everything is just for you. Okay. 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 This for you. Okay. This for you. Okay. Just for you, special price. Okay. Only twenty dollar for you. Just for you. Okay. Only for you. Only for you. Okay. What do Indian people say? I'll give you two dollars. That's why the Chinese are pissed off. They say twenty. We say two. But they don't let you go. They say, okay, okay, wait, wait. For you, I check with my wife. Okay, okay, you wait. Don't go. Okay. Sabla, se hola ya. Sonu ya ya. Sonu ya 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 ya. Sonu ya. Su su ya si bu ya. Su. Okay, okay, okay. I check with my wife. Okay, just for you. Okay, just for you. I give you ten dollar. Okay, just for you. Okay. Now. This Chinese person could be standing against a wall. Nothing behind. They are standing in the middle of a desert. There's nobody around them. They will still look back and negotiate with somebody. <laughs> Every time he asks, "What? Okay, for you, uh, Kamla. Who is Kamla? <laughs> Who the hell is Kamla? And what is she doing in every shop in China? <laughs> Why does this happen?" I don't like this uh, idiot called Enrique Iglesias. Any of you guys like Enrique Iglesias? Ladies, ladies, you like Enrique? You just went no. Do you, and, ladies, I need some honesty. You like Enrique? Yeah. Such a is, is that a guy? <laughs> so only time even guys will scream like woo. But sir, are, are, you, are you married? Are you together? So you as I'm asking you also. <laughs> It looks like a hostage situation. I don't know why. She goes. He's like, hold up. I am very happy here. She gives me lots of food. But the thing is, uh, you know, you can. This guy had a mole on his face, Enrique Iglesias, which was the size of an M and M. I have seen that mole sing when he was not singing. But women love this guy, and he sounds the same way in every song. Yeah, I'll show you what Enrique sounds in every song. Yeah, this is him in every song. Check it out. Would you dance? If I ask you to dance, would you laugh? Oh, give him a tissue, yar. What's wrong with the guy? And I think Enrique was born in slow motion. It probably took him like seventy-three months just to get out there. I'm serious. You guys have seen the Enrique video, right? Right. I'll show you what Enrique does in every music video. Slow motion. DJ, can we have Enrique track? This is him in every music video. Yeah. You. Thank you, Thank you. He likes Enrique. <laughs> Sorry. It's some. You know how many people, bro, in Delhi, after two black labels, this is us. Nobody asks us anything. Nobody gets. And what kind of language is this? This his songs are not meant for India. He's got lyrics like, "I don't mean to be rude, but tonight I'm loving you, but I like the way you think." Can you imagine with our accent if we try to pick up an hello? How are you? I don't mean to be rude, but tonight I'm you. No, she said you're going alone, own alone in a rickshaw. I don't know why I had that. You saw that? What just happened? Enrique, that's what Enrique does. But the thing is, I'll tell you how much women love this guy, right, bro? You could go to your girlfriend and make her do anything in that voice. Try it. Go home tonight, hold her hand, and say, "Would you dance?" Would you shave your legs tonight? 
She'll do it. She'll she'll do it. She will. <laughs> what's happening with Indian men, by the way, guys? What's going on, Indian men? Why are we so lazy? Why we don't even pick up women anymore? We don't compliment women anymore. The only way we pick up a woman is go up to her, state the obvious, and come back. Why are we doing this? Indian man in a club will go up to a girl. Is she wearing a red dress? She'll say hi. Red dress, huh? <laughs> she knows. And why don't Indian people say, "I'll be back. I'll just go and come." There's a reason why Terminator will never be made in India. Imagine Anil going, "I'll just go and come." It's not going to work. And women, stop confusing men. Stop it. How the hell can you call up your husband or a boyfriend and say stupid things like, "Baby, baby, baby, come faster, but please drive slowly, huh?" How do we get home? Like a woman will change everything about you from the time she meets you. What you wear, where you go, who you eat with, what you eat with him, what music you listen to. I'm sure you don't want to wear that shirt, sir. And after six months, she look at you and say, "You have changed, huh?" <laughs> Why do you do this to us? You hang up with your wife, saying, "What, baby? I can't talk to you. I don't have a headset. I'm driving. I'll talk to you later." She'll send you a BBM message. She'll ping you ninety-five thousand times until you read the BBM message. You know what it reads? I hope you're not using a BBM when you're driving. This is why men are jumping off. I'm, 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 I'm in a relationship now. That's the applause I normally get. Thank you. You don't know her. You don't know her. Stop it. You don't know her. My girlfriend calls me and says, "I miss you." As a man, what do you say? "I miss you too, baby." She says, "No, you don't." <laughs> For a second, we actually think like, "Oh shit." So we say, "No, no, I miss you." She's like, "No, no, you don't." Within 10 minutes, she convinces me and herself that I don't miss her. <laughs> Then she gets, gets angry with me because I don't miss her. Hangs up the phone saying, "You asshole! I don't miss you, dude." <laughs> What did we miss? <laughs> and women hear everything the first time. They do. Yeah, married men and relationship. You'll agree with me. You have a fight with your girlfriend or your wife. Men like to have the last word, right? So yeah, you this, you that. My father told me not to marry you. My mother told me, yeah, your face is like a dog. You're okay, you like a hippo. The usual stuff. And then men do this, right? They turn around because we want the last word. We'll go softly, bitch. <laughs> Now, guys, you can say that in your head. You can whisper it in your head. They will hear it. And a simple Gujarati girl becomes Beyonce. I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> And then men get scared. Men, no, no, baby, nothing. No, 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 no. Then she teach you like you're five years old. No, 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 no. What did you say? You want to leave the house? You're paying rent for and never come back. And after twenty minutes of all this, when she doesn't. Hear it from me. She says, "Oh, so I'm a bitch now, huh?" <laughs> you heard it the first time. This is the last thing, right now. How many women here? And I want some honesty. How many women have said these words? Men are like dogs. Auntie, not you. Put your hand down. Ladies, I want some honesty. How many of you have said these words, madam? Have you have you said these words? Men are like dogs. Is is that your husband with you? No. Okay. You can tell us. It's fine. How many? I need some honesty. Come on, please. Sorry, dogs are better than men. Where's yours? Tied up at home. <laughs> you know what? We messed up. If your name is something Moti Mahal, something like that, or are you Mrs. Tommy? No, you're not. So, do, do you say these words? Men are like dogs. Have you said these words? Such a liar. <laughs> yeah. Any any woman here said these words? Men are like dogs. Not like they are dogs. Let's give a round of applause. Is madam is that your husband with you? No, she goes no no. But I'm not offering you. I'm asking you. <laughs> so is your husband? No no. Not today. Not today. Not today. <laughs> today upvas. I can't. <laughs> but here's what I'm saying, and I'm going to leave you with this, ladies, women, people from Delhi and their sisters. 
if you want a happy marriage a happy relationship treat men like dogs treat us like dogs the problem is you don't treat us like dogs treat us like dogs when we come back home let us sit if we want to go fetch a kingfisher let us do it sometimes when we make love let us lie down and after making love just for 15 20 minutes let us roll over and play dead you know don't ask us questions but that's my time guys my name is nitin mirani thank you very much